And now, coming soon to video cassette. And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty, boysies. How you doing? How you doing this fine, fine day? We are coming to you live from a dusty old man home video store. That's right boys, we're digging into something brand new today. We're digging into a game called Kudelka, which... Oh, never mind that, never mind that wee thing in the corner. I'm definitely not on Duck Station, I'm definitely on a completely legitimate PlayStation. I was going to say I own this thing, but I don't because I don't really believe in paying more than what a game's originally worth. And Kudelka's one of these games which you are not going to own unless you have a lot of disposable income. And make some very poor choices in life. How you doing, boysies? So, I, uh, this is Kudelka, which I have never actually played before. Outside of seeing demos of on, which a trailer you've seen there was actually from uh, PSM, like PlayStation Magazine, which is the only thing I know about this game. I've read up that it is a horror RPG, which, if you know me, you know horror RPGs, that's my shit. Get that Paris Eve right in me, you know? So, I'm excited to dig into this. Don't really know what's gonna, well, I'm, I don't know what to expect. I played a, a do I pull back kayfabe here a little bit? I've played a little bit just to make sure it runs and it's in English and all that, you know. Get a bit of Shadow of Colossus vibe now with just the sort of lonely person on the horse going for a wee while, but but aye, uh, this is actually I don't right. So I don't know if this is. I'm just gonna look up now. Uh, this was it's a prequel to Shadow Hearts, which is a, ga a game series I've not played either. I don't know much about Shadow Hearts. I know Shadow Hearts is very difficult. That's literally it. Aberystwyth, Wales, I can't, uh, Wales, 1898, Monday. So it's Halloween night. There we go. Big Kudelka. So, SNK, it's made by SNK. Who, SNK, you'll know from, uh, you'll know from things like King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, Metal Slug, uh, Art of Fighting, you know, which, uh, King of Fighters, I, I don't know, it's a good game, it's not like my favourite, uh, it's not my favourite uh, fighting game ever, but you you wouldn't expect a fucking 3D survival horror RPG thing, because that's, they're not really known for them, but I here we go, might as well dive right in. So I was as soon as I seen like survival horror RPG on the PS One, I was because Parasite is one of my favorite games ever, and I was like, oh, something maybe similar that'll be kind of cool. And then I noticed, oh wait, SNK made this, so now I'm just very interested. So this would have been 2000, so near the end of the PlayStation's life cycle. And this was like, it's, it's one of those like, games that like, not many people have played it, but the people that have fucking adore it. Oh, is that a... Oh, who's this? Is this Kudelka? We're taking the mysterious rope in, leaving our lovely horse outside. Oh, great, we're in Yarnum. So, I, I, actually, I do know, I know this game, all of it takes place in this abbey, and this game's a lot smaller scale. 
which I'm like I said, I'm interested in digging into this game. Hi Michael, how are you doing? Ah! Yes man, kick the fuck out that one day. It's not as if this is mad a mad historic abbey or whatever, but let's crawl in. Again, I have no knowledge of the plot, the setting, apart from the fact that it's in Wales. That's it. Oh, who's this guy? So that's, that's the research. That's the research you come to the Man Home video uh, for. The game is in Wales. That's it. It's made by SNK. You're too early, Angel. I'm not dead yet. Voice acting seems alright. Not yet, but it looks like you're going to die soon. Maybe. But you'll have to pardon me while I tend to some unfinished business first. Like, as soon as I seen survival yes. horror and PS1 what and voice acting, I was like, oh, here we go. Give me that lovely mission. jank. You can't even hold your gun steady. Well, no one less a try. Thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. I was smite, Michael. Did you? Uh, I, oh yeah, there's a new god. Doesn't matter. What the fuck is that? Vampire monkey thing. Damn it! Here, use this. Three wins and one loss. Oh, it's a good ratio. I'm jo I'm Jones to get back in smite soon. Might play it. Might play it tonight. Fuck it when I get back to work. Anyways, so, yeah, the combat's a bit tactical RPG. I don't know if uh, things will come into play, like, uh, like, terrain or whatever. So I don't know if it'll be, like, uh, Fire Emblem and shit like that, but... Ah, it's kind of interesting, at least. Here we get Shustin. So... Oh. If you're ever in this morning, feel free to dive in. I'll do my best. I tend not, I tend to sleep in a wee bit. I woke up, uh, and then, you know, just make, you know, you do the when you do the sort of your stuff. You know, like take your dog out for a shite, get in and get ready. You were already wrapping up, so this odd. I'm interested. Fortify. I've got a healing spell. Wait, I can heal enemies. Oh, oh, that'll be. Fun. This is. A, Strange game, I like it. So I've got normal knife, a pistol. Oh, I've got ammo, right? Now I need to be careful. Can I shoot the thing? This, uh, I would have fucking adored this game when I was younger. Not that I wouldn't adore it now, but. Like, Ethan had RPG mechanics as a kid. So, oh, he's healing. Super into it. Like, for Final Fantasy, uh, Breath of Fire, that was my jam when I was younger. I don't quite know where to go. Guess just run away from him. Music's a bit of a banger as well. Oh shit. Yeah, it was only 28 hit damage, so... There we go. Easy peasy. But again, it's literally the first enemy of the game. Don't think they're going to give me something really hard then. I got items, I got 20 pistol rounds. You learn to spell Flare. Ooh. This is something I can tell I'm really gonna like. Oh, boys, look what we've got as well. Tank controls. Well, actually not... A little bit of the tank controls, like, I can't just go to the side, but... It's not as bad as something like Resident Evil. Which I've got a hot take, boys. No fan of the tank controls. Can I talk to that guy? Half tank, that's it. Kind of like Megan. Hey, what about him? He's dead. Really? Thank you. <clears throat> so I guess my time is up. Hey, Angel. I'm not going to ask you to take me to heaven. Oh. Will you pray for me at least? 
Are you out of your mind? There's no bloody way I'm going to pray for you. But I guess I owe you because you saved me too. Oh, this is, this is our second main character. Payback this is our boy. Only not because he's on the box. What's his name? Shut up! Keep it down! Okay, let's go. Right, so we got the boys now. We've got two main characters. Stand up or I'll leave you here. What happened? Done, so what I'll do is I'll anymore. give him a knife and I'll give her the, the gun. She yeah. can sit at the back. And so I cured you, so what? She'll be like the healer you? magic user. You cured me. It's my big tank boy. But, but I was almost dead. I'm confused. So you really are an angel? Don't be foolish. <laughs> do you really think that there are angels on earth? I'm no angel. I was gonna say that I'm this come a medium with a after Shadowhearts went off. Shadowhearts came out. Shadowhearts was like early PS2, I know I look and this is like our send to the PS1. Awesome I... No, I'm not like you, and this is no place for people like you. Why did you come here? I heard a rumor. A rumor. I heard something in London that the son of some rich family bought an old monastery, spent oh. a ton of money to convert it into a house. I heard he brought quite a lot of harlots here. Oh, harlots! Seems like they love harlots, so we do. Time. So. Where is this monastery? That's what I want to know. I came all this way to put a poor man's fear of God into this rich bastard. So far, I haven't found anything. Then this monster attacked me. I, I almost got killed. So we've got a lot of plot here. We're getting no in like a very short amount of time. In his stomach right now. I shouldn't have bought such a good horse. She's too fast. Too bad you won't be hearing me sing those hymns. When I was a boy, I was a pretty good soprano. If you don't stop talking, I'll leave you here. Oh, the tension. My name is Kudalka, and I'm only going to line. say this once, so don't forget. If you want to get out of here alive, I suggest you stick very close. Got it? I mean, the, we climbed in a window, so you could just climb it that way. John, I'm sure. Big John. Right, so we got Kudalka and John. The lads, right? So, I think you get three characters, or at least there was three of them on it. Oh, there's something, about, there's something about PS1 sort of menus and sounds, just... I don't know why, just... Mm. See that sound when you move a cursor? Oh, a little bit of serotonin just leaks out there. Oh, a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of serotonin. Yes, man, I don't know why. Right, anyway. Kadelka level 1 and Edward. Wait, I thought his name was jo oh, John Edward, or... Love a good cursor, but Kudelka L Lissant? Lissant? Is that an L? Wait, he said his name was John, wasn't he? Did I mishear that? Edward Plunkett. <laughs> Big Jedward Plunkett. I'm sure he said John, didn't he? Or Charmed, maybe he said, I don't know, I don't know. But... Let's give him a knife. A wee knife. Right, uh, got any other items? I have not. Map, can't check map. Formation. Oh man, this is like Big Jedward Mary Plunkett. Yes, oh, Jesus Christ. This is like very deep and very like. Oh, I don't want to spoil you, but I'm already feeling this game. This is, this is feeling very Mikey all of a sudden. Right, where am I going? Right, let's have a wee gander about see if there's any items, cause let's have a look. Anything lying about? Looks like there's nothing useful here. Well, right, can I? Oh, not right. So circle is menu. Triangle is run. Uh, X is, well, X is, I imagine, use things, I don't know what square is. No, so X is interact. Caretaker's quarter, second floor. There was a wee S there, does that mean I can save? How do save? 
Oh, what's that? Got potion. Oh my god, the items are so fucking small. I'm gonna miss so many. Oh god. Hmm. Oh, we got random battles as well. Good thing music, a bit of a banger as well. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like hanging upside down. See, I always like it when horror. It's like a thing with three heads that's walking upside down. And it's got a gun. What the fuck? See, when horror games give you uh, monsters that aren't. No, don't escape. Nope. Nope, we're taking this thing. When they give you monsters that aren't your usual fucking zombie ghost or whatever, because you know how to beat a zombie. You know how to beat a ghost. When you see something like this, it's fucking scary. Like, what the fuck? That's Junji Oh shit right there. Right, we're gonna move Kadelk over so she doesn't shoot big Jedward in the back of the heat. What's this flare? Let's see what the magic's like. Oh man, PS... Again, PS1 effects. Oh man, there we go. Oh! Wait, she did. Oh god, she did. Right, uh... Well, I've just killed one of the characters right at the start of the game. I've got a potion. I Hopefully she comes back with like one health after this battle. Right, there we go. We, we beat that thing. Big Jedward, uh, what was his name? Big Jedward Plunkett. My boy. At least he survived. Right, let's check the menu here. Kudelka's got one heal. Oh. Right. Items. Uh, tools. Well, right, so I used up a lot of... Uh, I don't know if I used the potion there or... Or what, but it's been locked from our side and can't be opened from here. Oh, no, I didn't mean to press... I keep pressing circle by accident because... I don't know why in my head circle should be run. Actually, I can change that, can't I? Let, let's do that now. So let's go into config. Uh, let's switch them. Because to me, tri triangle... You can't find your shoes. Are they in the wee, uh, nearly cover behind me? Jesus Christ, another random battle. Teeth's another rooftop thing, I'm fucked. Oh god, that is. Wait, did I actually... Oh, right, so I can shoot through things, because... I just shot right through, uh, Big Edward. You were dead. Did you lose them when you were steaming? Right, maybe I need to be in range with the... with the gun. Let's get Shustin. Don't shoot Kadelka, you piece of shit. I wonder if I'm going to have to grind in this game at all. Like, Chrono Trigger was perfect for not having any grinding. But, expect, expect games to be on the same sort of balance as Chrono Trigger is uh, no fair because Tr Chrono Trigger is pretty much perfect. Like, one of the rare games you should consider like an all time classic, which isn't overrated in the slightest. Anyway, did flare work? Yes! I like the idle animations, I don't know, that's just kind of cool. There's like a lot of polish in this game that I really like. Hmm. 
to go get pick up. Oh, picked up pistol rounds. Let's have we gander around here. Don't think there's anything else lying about. What's in here? Oh. Um, this is when I, I go around and I press X. I mean, you found a dirk hidden behind the picture frame. Do I pick it up? Yeah, why not? Got the dirk. What's a dirk? I know it's a knife, but like, what's the difference between a knife and a dirk? I wasn't like a sword geek in high school or anything like that, so... Dirk. Uh, a long bladed thrusting dagger. Oh, it's a Scottish weapon. What it says? It got its it gained its name from the Highland Dirk, which was a personal weapon of officers engaged in naval hand-to-hand -hand combat during the Age of Sail, as well as a personal sidearm of Highlanders. Ah, so it's like a small stabbing weapon. I see. Wait, is that the one you can't have on like, like decoration, like decorative ones on kilts? Am I making that up? Anyway, we'll just show you. Got a wee, a wee dark. Right, well, I won't give it to Kudelka because she can have the pistol. Well, Mystic Dirk. Heal Kudelka. We've got no MP left. Right, I can see this becoming a problem pretty quickly. Ah, shit. Oh, we've got two enemies. Wait, we've got a fucking ghost, I think. And I can't really make it what that thing is, but nope, nope. I meant to run a wee bit further than that. Uh, well, you're gonna wait. Right, and Kadelka's gotta come in this side. Can't attack. I've wait, have I run out of ammo? Oh, it's like a dummy with like a snake wrapped around it. That's pretty cool. And the ghost is hiding behind that. Is the ghost maybe controlling the dummy? Oh wait, there's a dark. Oh, so I, I, I get uh, I get shit from the dark. That's cool, so it's like it's got an absorbing ability. Cool. Now if I can only find a way to share wait items, pistol rounds. Do I need to actively reload? Attack. Wait, am I doing any actual health damage to it? I'm getting MP back. But I don't think I'm actually doing damage to it, I think I'm using the... What goes on move? Kudelka here. Sorry, I, don't, I know it doesn't sound like I'm thinking or doing much, but could I... Oh! Could you use a meteor? How much damage does that do? Oh, never mind, Kudelka just got silenced, right, uh... Right, I'm just going to change to the normal Dirk, because... Yeah, the Mystic Dirk kind of just take. So the Mystic Dirk takes MP so I can use that for healing, I think, maybe? Right, that's kind of useful. Can I shoot a ghost? Let's find out. Oh, he's fucking raging. I think Dirk is going to wait. Right, stab a ghost. There. Yes, man, the lads. We're having an easy time fighting these things. Which the other ones really fucked us up. Are we getting XP at all? Or. Oh, no, we are. Right, uh. Hmm. So I don't actually know what. So strength. Oh, that's damage, physical damage. Vitality is health. Dexterity is probably. Uh, dexterity is probably like accuracy and shit. Agility is like ability to dodge. 
Luck's probably a critical chance. I think I don't know what mind and pie and intelligence intelli is probably magic damage. Excuse me. Wait. So I don't know what to. Up I'll just upgrade health so far. Uh. I'll put one in luck just to try and get more critical. Oh, but Big Edward, right, uh. What I'll do is I'll just. Whatever. Oh, and I got a club. Right, let's head down the stairs, see what we've got. Man, this game's so interesting. It was very. I can, like, I can see why it's such a big cult hit, because it's a very. Hybrid. It's a big hybrid. Or like survival horrors aren't particularly like now they're super pop popular. Well, and that's a lie. Resident Evil and Silent Hill basically taking over the PS One. But things like Parasite Eve weren't as popular, and then you get things like, uh, and then you get tactical RPG, which I can see why this game's such a big cult hit. Very up my very up my alley. Right. Uh. Head through here. There's an old couple in the room, Ogden and Bessie Harmon. Who they are? Uh, who are? Who say they're the caretakers of the Nementon Monastery? Oh, can we talk to them at all? Can we find out why we're here? You might be able to hear Buddy barking in the background. He's going absolutely tonto. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. Also, looked up nice There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes. I don't trust Please. them. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's potato not Potato soup is bogging. I'm all right for now. Only Thank good soup is chicken soup. Though. Or chicken no noodle soup. At all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So, so are you, you two really the only ones who live here? I'll, I'll ask Why that later on. Ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the 9th century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built oh, a place Daniel of worship Scotius. here to appease monsters and evil guy. spirits. That was how the Nemeton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What Daniel. about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that oh, so? Dear. You saw it too. You mean... That monster's been around for a while? I don't well, think he is. We've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years. But from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. I mean, we've got plenty of bullets. The monsters might try and attack more. you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks. Why stay That'd somewhere where there's like <laughs> monsters and shit like that? He's so wonderful at that. So they're very calm for the fact there's demons cutting about their house. <laughs> yes, quite a while. Now all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days. Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. Right, so there's a lovely old couple that came here, fed us, gave us bullets, and supposedly they're not too bored about the monsters, but they're like, oh, they've been a pe I don't know. Weird, this, right, oh! It's been locked with the red key. Right. Hmm. Oh, whoops, got in our random battle because I was busy wandering about. And the random battles are oh, we got a, ugh! Oh. Big cockroach and a big fucking. Is that a spider? No, it's not a spider, it's like a. Ant, maybe? I shouldn't. Don't even know what the fuck that's meant to be. Anyway, we're gonna run up to it and we're gonna stab it in the face. Oh fuck! Killed it one shot. Yes, man! 
Date for a big Saint Danny Scroat. And just shoot the cockroach, I guess. Boys, do you know cockroaches are bulletproof? They're also absolutely bogging. Ugh. Oh wait, so I can only move like can only move like seven. Stop three scrotums, my own doesn't count. Uh go with St. Danny Scroat. We'll go with uh This wait, this is not one. See as a kid. I I always got confused with confused with the word cunt. Because I heard people saying I'm gonna kick your cunt, and so I was assumed it meant arse. For some reason, I thought scrotum meant arse as well. Don't know why. Because I wait, I can get I can get cunt because they always refer to like go kick your cunt and or your wee cunt, you know, the same way you'd say your wee arsehole, your wee arsehole or something like that, you know. Scrum, don't know why I got I ever got that. Uh but yeah, we'll go with if there was three Danny Scroats stand next to each other. That's my top three. I forget PS1 loading times. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Pardon me? If it weren't poison, then I would have had some. Pardon? I said, if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Got it? Yes, man. Big uh, Jedwards have monstrous diarrhea. No way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? Oh. Oh, I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote... Have I lost a party member die. already? So they really were trying to kill us. But why? Don't know. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> oh, did they, they maybe be hiding something? <laughs> did they maybe kill people to like give to the spirits or something Listen, that? Or Edward, I don't know. I'm going to try to cure you now. But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. There's something I love about like pre-rendered backgrounds. Like, see that fireplace? Like, I think it's just nostal like just being nostalgic for it. Like, the pre-rendered backgrounds, the weird tank controls type thing, the menu boops. Just oh, see this era of video games. Like, see, like I think my favorite as a kid was like because I didn't get a PS2 for another couple of years after it came out. I say about I think about a year, and I got a bunch of hand-me-down games. So like late PS2 when they really knew what to do with the the system. Ten on ten. Found a knife. Do I pick it up? Yes. Uh and then like early PS2. Oh, great times like. Also there's nothing useful here. Yes man, stab the scrotes. That's how to do it. Stab them right in their weak point, the scrotum. I should, don't, don't say that, I've got a scar on my scrotum. I, I think I've told this story that I fell on a fence when I was younger. So like I've got a line from like starting at my boss and going all along to my fucking big boss guy. I basically uh, if you, if you ask me, I'll, I might show you. How does one not mention that constantly? I've got a scar going from the end, like the edge of my butthole, right the way to like the start of my boss. And I remember my partner asked me like, "Is that meant to be there?" I was like, "Yeah, I fell on a fence when I was a kid." And I was I was walking on one of like I was a bit maybe. Seven or eight, and I was walking on one of those fences that by the park at Donard, and I fell, landed on like you know, scrotum first in the fence, and because it ripped my jeans, I hung hung upside down for like a couple of minutes as well. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good time. And there's inherent coziness about games from this year. Yeah, like see this and like I'd say up to like things like Dark Cloud. You know, like the that early PS2 RPG. Like oh. 10 on 10. Anyway, there's a pot hung over the fire. Maybe we should probably get Edwards. Oh, fuck. 
Wait, what is it? Wait, it's a cockroach and the ant again. Oh no. Oh no, boys. It's... <laughs> I've no saved and it's just paused. Fucking right, here we go, we're sprinting through the game. Yes man, rat attack. No man, no. Right, here we go, it's good Elka, we're gonna run through it. Cause in reality we only actually done a couple of rooms there and we're taking our time with everything. So watch this, we're going to run through it, and never mind that in the corner, I'm definitely not playing Duck Station. Which, by the way, boys, if you're up, emulate PS1 is a way to do it, because you... Wait, 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 do we have an autosave? We do. Cause I... We do have an autosave, because this is me testing it last night. We're okay, we're okay. I was testing the game last night just to make sure it worked in English and I went to the first save point. Remind me to actually save this time. Right, I know it's a different area. I went in the wee wander. But... I just need to remember where we are. I forget the comp, I'm going to change that as well. Ah, oh, for fuck, I pressed the menu again. Right, right, nope, right. Back, there we go. So it was... Yeah, there we go, I went into here. I'm just gonna check my items, I'm just gonna check, because... Wait! So the knife I got in the first playthrough, I, I just clicked there. The knife I got there in that playthrough was, it leached he he like health. And I got a Mystic Dirk in there, which was, it leached MP. Oh, the aim effects are randomised, oh, that's pretty cool. But anyway, so we went into this room. Let's see if the cutscenes are skippable. Oh, wait, nope. Got a fight scene first. With the creepy undead hanging thing. At least with this knife I don't have to worry about healing uh, Big e uh, Edward. But now I've came to the realisation that I might have to be care- I might have to wait and see if that's maybe a bit where it just freezes. Which it would be gotten if it is. Cause I'm really- I was really looking forward to playing this game so let's hope that's not the case. And we'll get close enough that I can- oh I forget I need to actually- Reload in this game. Attack. Oh wait. I like wee shimmy shimmy does. Right, so this is like a leech. Oh, so I don't need to worry about healing. Uh, Big Eddie now. That's cool. Oh, but Kudelka needs to work. Oh, cool, so... That thing can hit through me, but I can't hit through my own character. Cool. Easy peasy. Right, we're just gonna wait and we're just gonna bully this thing. And we get Shuston. Yes, man, there we go. That should level up Big Eddie as well. There we go, just level up strength and vitality because that's what he's already got is pretty high. Anyway, let's see if cutscenes are skippable. So we can skip that scene, or the wee sort of text there. And we go and eat some lovely potato soup and they tell us, like, oh, yeah, it's been years since we've met people. Oh, we can skip cutscenes. Oh, isn't that a nice wee thing?
but PS1 loading times naturally does take a while. What I am going to do is... Nobody look, nobody look. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, don't no, pay no attention to what's in the corner there. Right, so and he he came in here and he he because he eating the potato soup, he gets poisoned and goes like, eh, but he's somehow still in our party. Don't know how. Lovely black screen, but again, again, PS One sort of loading screen. So oh, right, pick up a knife. Even though we're probably not gonna change it, that vital dirk item because that's probably really fucking good. Anyways, where are we? So oh, that's where we came from. So we're heading up this direction. Oh, we got a fight scene. Right, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Right, it's a cockroach and... Don't crash, don't crash. There we go. So it must just be like a emulation thing that it's a bit dodgy sometimes. Wait, I mean, Edward's looking great for being poisoned, isn't he? Delka beside him. How much MP have we got? Because we could just use magic as opposed to using heal. I'll heal myself. I like how the magic takes a turn or whatever, that's cool. So it's not like something you can spam, it's something you need to actually... Oh, I know they're going for her because she's healing. Again, some PS1 sort of effects, I'm like, oh. Nostalgia. Oh. Having had to pop it back in there. It's probably because I'm using the upscaler a little bit. So the game probably isn't go is gonna struggle a little bit sometimes. Oh. Oh. Right. So maybe this thing can't kill them. Maybe that's a drawback with a uh, with a dirk. And what will do is I'll go after the cockroach with it. Or maybe we well, know I, I can do damage to that. Cool. Right, shoot that boy. That's the big boy to take care of. Kudelka here. And let's see if the dirt can actually kill. Right, so that dirt can actually kill things. Cool, right? That kind of balances it a little bit. Wait, that thing's paralyzed, so I can just use weapon change to normal knife. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't mean to attack as Kudelka because it had like one health, so wasting the bullet for that. I got List Listel, whatever that is. Oh, is that, oh what's this? What have I got? Got some lovely cheese. I'll take cheese is fucking shite, boys. No, I just don't like cheese. Always sends people into a rage when I mention that. Wait, okay, what's through here? Something on this deck. Can I pick up whatever this is? What have we got on the desk? Nothing. Can't pick it uh, up. Oh, I keep forgetting I can't walk downstairs. You need to actually back to them. Right, three ghosts, right. So, what do we figure, boys? Is Kudelka still poisoned? She is not. I might see if I can just escape. You weren't able to run away. Yes, man. Cowardice is the only way.
What's this? There's an item here that I need to try and pick up because it's shining. You can see it. Found. Pansea. Go pick the item up. Is that not an... I was going to say, is that an item in Final Fantasy? It's probably an item from fucking real life. Does the light come from below? There must be a room underground. Let's actually have a wee gander at the items. What have we got? Tools. So we've got... Red boat. I didn't see what to do. Examine. And say a compound containing berries, herbs, cures, poisoning, paralysis, silence, and other abnormal effects. Ah. What's cheese do? Homemade cheese. Homemade hard cheese fermented in a pressurizer. Restores some HP. Delka can munch some cheese. What's Listel? Listel? Small bottle of rosy wine with a soothing bouquet. Restores some MP. Ah. Booze, right, I see. Give that to Kildelka and we're ready to roll. That's okay, I can I can deal with games occasionally crash and believe me, I fucking stream Deadly Premonition on that PC port which was an abomination. Wait, is there something Looks like there's nothing useful here. There's something there in the middle, but I ah, will. According to the game, that's nothing, right? Uh, no. Right, what direction am I going in? So, is that a door back there? Looks like there's nothing useful here. Well, okay. Oh, that's a door. Where's this door I came from? Oh, wait, no, it's a new area. See a hammer. Hey, what have we got here? What's the boys? Oh, it's two cockroaches. Two of the most bogging enemies. Oh, boys, I'm actually really enjoying this game. I don't think Shadow Hearts is sync similar to this. I think Shadow Hearts takes a more traditional, like, JRPG formula. Like, I've seen a bit of it, mainly in a bit uh, I was watching a video, it was... Uh, I think it was Games Radar, it was talking about, like, super boss... GRPG super bosses. And it talked about a boss from... Uh, Shadow Hearts and how fucking... Like, nightmarish it is. I like the other spin-off for Shadow Hearts. Paddle Sharks. It's mad sharks and off-license. Just sharks screaming about wakey wines. Oh, did you see that video? I think someone, uh, I think Jason put it in the chat that fucking wakey wines on a fucking plane patter. Oh, it was, oh my god. Terrible. Fucking the worst. Oh, got some pistol rounds as well. Hope there was no turbulence, it'd be shaky wines. Have you seen the video where he gets fucking raging because it's like a bunch of, he, he does, records one of his TikToks and a bunch of wines come up and he's like, oh, what's the best shop in Wakey? And the wee kid goes, Tesco! And he fucking storms off. So fucking funny. Found a hammer. I mean, is a hammer better? Let's have a look. Uh, where's... Big Eddie here. Earth Hammer. Oh, does a lot more damage. Puts his agility down, but that's okay. Right, what have we got here? Oh, something else on the floor. Is that, or... What's this? Found a pipe. The furnace won't open. Something's not right. Actually, I'll check the pipe first, see how that is, damage-wise. Mystic pipe. So it's a bit less, but, uh... Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, so they... Never mind, so they have different elements, so I assume it's got to come to the point where it's like, oh, you have a fire... 
pipe or whatever. Mystic one does the MP damage, doesn't it? Cool. Right, I got this. So, yeah, we're better using the... Mystic pipe. Simple metal pipe, always used in kitchens. A silly bent at one end, allowing it to be used as a hammer-like weapon. Oh, wait, I can re... Oh, I can rename the... I can rename them. Hammer, a large steel hammer like it was used by blacksmith. A bit unbalanced due to the heavy head and thin handle, but a powerful weapon. Hey right, boys, what are we naming the hammer? What are we naming Big Greg Valentine here? Shintaro, okay. Oh. Although Greg Valentine's a good name. We'll save Greg Valentine for a bigger hammer. There we go. Shintaro, the Earth Hammer. Anyway, what's this? There's a man collapsing the ground, but it looks like he's passed out. Oh, what's he got here? Can we rob him? Oh, as you try to move deeper into the herb garden, a giant plant attacks you. Oh shit. Oh, that is a big plant. That is a big boy. Right, so... I've just thought, see if... Uh, if I've just got that attack, uh, which got... Let's use flare on it, because fire and plant, I imagine. I've got this earth hammer, maybe this won't do as much damage to it, because I imagine maybe that thing's... Can I use... Oh, he can use magic as well. What is that? It's knocked me down, but... I imagine it's got this like, poison or some shit like that. Right, okay, that's not done much damage. I've done like 30 damage, that's, ooh. Also, Edward's low health. Right, should probably try and heal Edward a little bit. Edward magic's gotta do fuck all damage, isn't it? Zero. Wow, zero damage. Well, it's only doing like two and zero damage, so... I don't need to worry too much about it, but right, let's see shooting it. We'll shoot it at work. Eleven. Right. Okay. Well, now we're now I'm scared. Might just give Kudelka the we'll get uh, weapon normal knife and just send Kudelka in and just not uh, start stabbing away at it. Just be chipping it at the sides. Right, uh. Let's see if Earth Hammer does anything. Ooh, 260. Nice. That's just a nice bit of damage. Still doing, like, no damage to Kadilka. I'm kind of worried. I'll heal Edward. Right, so just move in. Yeah, fuck it, we're just gonna stab it to death. Easy peasy. I've got a feeling there's gonna be like a big difficulty spike, there's gonna be a bunch of uh, enemies that are like, wait, they can't actually kill you, you know, like you're, when you're thinking fucking sin spawn and, oh wait, no, it's doing damage now. You know, like when you play the Final Fantasy and like, the sin spawn can't really hurt you, because they're, you know, weak as fuck, and then suddenly, you get to that fucking fight where I was, that fucking tormented me as a kid. Which actually, when I played it, I, ran, I fucking flew through that game. Like that, that fight was so fucking easy when I played it. I forget what the sin spawn it was, but he 
terrorise me. Right, so that knife does nothing against it. Right, I'm going to move Kudelka back. We'll give her the gun again, because obviously not doing much with the, the little Dirk. Oh! It's vomed on him, probably poisoned him as well. Right, Eddie, if you just beat the fuck out of this. I'll just focus on Kudelka healing you. After we change to the pistol. And the music in this is a banger. But, see if this is the one theme the game has. Oh, it's going to get old quickly. Maybe I shouldn't have put everyone together so they can... Ooh! Ooh, he's hitting Edward hard. So it is a distance thing, because Kudelka's like, not taking much damage from it. 17, oh. What I'll do is I'll hide Kudelka here, and then I can maybe have her use magic. Oh! We beat it! Yes! Up the Eddie. Kudelka, uh, Kudelka, I, I keep trying to read that second name, but I just can't figure out Lassant, Lassant, Kudelka, we'll just say Kudelka. What, wait, oh, well, that would have made sense if I pressed that button earlier. So, strength is how much damage you do in combat, vitality is defense against attacks as well as HP, yep, that's, dexterity is chance of hitting, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Intelligence is magic, right, so she should probably level up her magic. Piety? Resistance? Oh, if it's too high. Oh, right, if it's too high you can actually resist healing magic, right, so... How do I pronounce that? Piety. P... Piety meaning, what's it? Quality of being religious or reverent. Piety. Piety. Cool. Piety. Piety. Right. Cool. I've got that. So that's like your, ma that's like your mag magic uh, defense. Mind that's tribute uh, determines the character's chance of successful on the attack and healing magic. Oh. So it's just defense but magic. Cool. Agility is speed so it's cool. Got that. And luck is uh, character may not be aware of his good fortune, but always appreciates having it, so that's like critical hits and shit like that. Cool, so what I'll do is... Mm. There we go, and... I may have put one in decks, but I will. What have I got? An icon's necklace, and I learned to spell geyser. Right, so Edward's got me my tank boy. Who's this? Have they woke up yet? Oh, oh cutscene. My head. Oh, what happened? Oh, yes, that's right. That monster. Oh. Who's this boy? Who on earth are you two? Hey! We rescued you and that's your way of saying thanks? Little did I know that these these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. You. Who's this random guy we've just found lying on the ground in the guard? My name is Kadalka, and this is Edward. Yes, man. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. Oh, Big Jimbo. James O'Flaherty. James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something and it took me to the monastery. Little did I know that it become a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? 
through the main gate, of course. The caretakers welcome me with open arms. That husband and wife team? And the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Those caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny. I find it inappropriate for you to try to dupe an upstanding believer of the Christian faith. So nothing oh, happened he a, to you then? Is he a priest? Of course not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Far be it from me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. It wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. Now we punched it to death. Look at this planet. I should use Bishan Taro the hammer on it. It's broken now, but holy water ran from it until recently. But I've become distracted. Almighty God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. So is this Let's priest go, our... Just a minute. I think this priest might be our third main character. Although I'm under the protection of the Lord, it doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. A bit early in RPG for like the full party to come together, okay, but I'll go with you. I will. Here we go, big James. What's his name? James. What's his face? Yeah, big Jim Bob. With the monster gone, the font is once again filled with holy water. You can save here. Right, let's have a wee gander. Who have we got? Uh, oh, I can use formation, so... Oh, I see, because he's a, a, he's a holy man. He's a bishop. I see. I see. Right, cool. Anyway, where, how can I get status? There we go. Kudelka, Edward Plunkett, and James O'Flat. He is a priest, because look at the collar. We've got a fucking holy man here. Holy man? He's got very high pa uh, piety. What's what we do? What we do for so everyone shares a skill. Like he's got really high MP. He's got more than Kudelka. So, do we get healing magic? If we do it, I think Big James will fla fla. Oh, James O Flaherty. My Irish side is fucking oh. Right. Right, so he's Fa James O'Flatherty. Right, my anyway, we'll just say Big Jim Bob. Right, he's the healer. Edward Plunkett will be the tank, and Kudelka's gonna be like my main magic user and DPS, I guess. Jambo Flambo, that's the one. Father Jambo Flambo. Anyway, uh, I've not got any. any what we give Big Father Jambo? We'll give him a. Uh, we'll give him the Dirk. That will keep him alive, he doesn't need, like... Because he w doesn't really need to do damage and shit. It's shining with a sacred light, it appears to be purified by the holy water. Oh, so this is like our save. Go. Cool. Let me just do a big save here. Overwrite, okay. There we go, and I will also... Make a wee save state here. Anyways, where are we at? Is it ethn up here? A door to go through or I went up a wee step. Nothing there. There's something in the corner there, Kit. Am I making that up? Yeah, making that up. Right, where are we at now? So... So maybe we... I'm very confused where we go. Let's head back this way, maybe. Maybe the priest wants to go talk... Well, no, we don't want to talk to people because...
we were saying how it's good that old people think we're dead. Oh wait, actually I got a new item, didn't I? I got is that the necklace? Right, uh tool. Icons necklace. Examine. Gold necklace with three set emeralds, too large to be used as a person, it appears to be made to decorate a statue. Hmm. Oh, 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 it's our stat maybe up here. I'll have a wee gander at the Oh, we got now we got a fight. Wait, let's check test big James off Big Jambo. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the battle system is a bit slow, but then again, again, remember what came out that year, Final Fantasy IX. Second favorite game ever. Pretty fucking slow. But that was just PS1 uh, RPGs for you. There's a reason when they all get re-released, they all have speed up functions. Anyway, Big Fella Jambo. Who looks like a fucking Call of Cthulhu character. Actually, the, the whole cast looks very, apart from Kudel, because she looks a bit out of place, but the rest, the other two guys look very straight out of like a old Call of Cthulhu game. Fuck me, that hammer does so much damage. Big Shintaro is wiping the floor with these boysies. Right, you know, no need to waste the ammo. Let's have Kudelka wait. Let's Kudelka uh, wait. Right, Fala Jambo, uh, Magic, Geyser, imagine Geyser just like a full weight as well as happening, Kudelka weight, Big Jambo weight, Eddie smash the fuck out that thing, fuck me the damage Eddie's doing, it's ridiculous. Oh, and what have we got? Pansea 2. Probably start using items more. Uh, Pansea is the... I'll, what I'll do is I'll save the healing items for like... Later fights, because I've got a feeling I'm going to need them much later on. Like, now I can survive if I get poisoned. Nabar, easy, but if it's a longer fight, I'm obviously going to need to... Rethink that strategy a little bit. There are various objects piled haphazardly everywhere. Actually, I've got to check. Do I have a map? I do not have a map. How do I save? It popped up S, but maybe I can only save because I saved here before. Maybe that's the thing. Oh, right, we've got a knight and a. Uh A knight in what looks like a fucking stain. No, oh, it's like a stain class zombie thing. Like, I really like how the enemies are a bit more unusual. Like that thing looks straight out of fucking medieval. Which I really, I really had urge to play medieval again. I might do that on stream. Not soon. I've got because I've got. So wait, I'm gonna peel back a little bit here. We've got one more game. Then we're starting a big RPG. And then after that big RPG, we are digging into, that's when the jank season's coming. We've got three or four, I've not quite decided yet, licensed games coming in a row. But aye, the next while is going to be interesting to say at least. A big fella jambo with magic. Have Edward run up being the tank he is. Oh, I can spin the camera around. Uh, you're just going to wait, I guess. Can't actually think of what to do with you. Oh, that thing's pretty creepy. 
and just puts his head down and runs into you. Ooh, wait, actually, I'm gonna move this over so I can see the. There we go. Right, uh. I think we'll go for the zombie first. Oh, one shot killed it. Yes. And you stand there guarding Edward. Not Edward. Big Jambo. And I, I like the, the party. It's a, it's a cool layout. Like you've got mysterious magic user Kudelka. I think private investig... No, I don't know. Basically, you're... Look, okay, I've done one damage. Your fucking Thief and Edward, and you got James, who's your, you know, like, religious. Pre that's that's a cool part. I like that. Big religious point. Right? Anyway, so we're gonna go here, and we're gonna shoot this fucking knight. Hardly any damage. So Edward's our boy for like big damage. Kadelka's like equivalent of DPS, I guess. You know, like with a little damage coming in, and. Not the DPS a thing in fucking turn based games, so you get you get what I mean, you get my meaning. Oh, oh wait no, I, I nearly Oh, I got armor. Who we give armor to? Let's have a let's have a gander. Earth mate will give it to uh his luck and vitality up but quite a bit. I'll give it to uh, Edward. Is that a is that a door? Oh, that's a window. Oh, cutscene. What a dark and depressing building. Even with the temple, you can't feel the presence of the Lord's light. I can't believe I stepped foot in this place. Where all have gone, and all must go, to be the nothing that I was. They are born to life and living woe. Lord Byron, no. I am not an admirer of his. In the first place, his poetry is unrefined. And who gave you the right to judge the refinement of poetry? Poetry should delve into the depths of the souls of the faithful. And others. It should inspire the soul as to Alexander Pope or George Herbert. So I'm just listening to the plot to, to try and... With these evil spirits, I'd choose anyone. Even that dear old carpenter's son. Blasphemous! So <laughs> oh, he's raging. Pagan. And we're slagging Jesus. How dare you utter such words of sin? To oh, Kadoka. Oh, she's pagan. Never met before oh. is ridiculous, especially when people are dying from hunger every single day in London. Oh, they're all filthy anymore, little beggars that deserve to die. Oh my God, Jambo! I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like a demonic spirit to me. The noise is coming from that building over there. The poison didn't kill us, so now they're taking the fast and easy way now. Oh, yeah, Don't Jambo's a big fucking Tory. Why don't you ask the bullets who's big being... Big Jambo. You idiots! Yeah, this could help us say a perfectly good thing going like... Uh, saying that people in London are having a terrible time. Because this is a... 1600s? When would... 1600s, so I it would be an awful time for everyone included. And he's like, oh, they deserve it. Big Tory bastard, you. Right, what the fuck are these? Are they, f are they flying heads? Ooh, they're bogging. Right, could I can shoot it? Don't like it. It's okay, because you just wait. Big Tory cunt, you run in and stab it, I guess. That might work. Can't attack just yet, so I have to wait. And oh, why did I hit wait as Edward? I meant to move, because Edward's meant to come in as a big tank. He'll get there. He'll get there when he gets there, right? Oh, oh, oh means he can hit in the second turn. Here we go. Cave its head in, Edward. Come on. Yes, man. Right, 
Okay, on you go, get him stabbed. I probably shouldn't have ran and put him by himself in front of the two enemies. Oh. Oh, no, that's not good at all. Only three damage. That is not good. Right, so it's just one. One to take care of. Big Eddie should be able to take care of that himself. I wonder if it's like... Yeah, what? It just, it just silenced us? Ah, I see. Cool. Oh, Eddie, come on, man. Not Eddie. Jambo. Watch a real master at work. Gave that fucking thing's head in, moan. Yeah, oh fucking hell, 500. Jesus. Jambo is really letting the team down here. Whiskey and dried food. You know what? Like, I'm getting attacked quite a lot, but at least I'm leveling up and getting a bunch of items and shit. It's not as if, like... When you try to open it, a monster attacks you. Oh. Oh, it's not our boss. Cool. Right, so. I wonder, right, so you're red, so clearly it's wanting me to use fire, but I don't know if you mean like, I should use fire on the red one, or if I should, wait, we'll just focus on the red one first. Kudelka, wait. Send the priest in. You can't attack just yet. Uh, you know what, fuck it, let's try that. So I'll use fire on the red one. See if that... See if that does it. Right, Edward, get in there and get swinging. Fucking hell, 5k damage, well, not 5k, okay, 500 damage. That's no bad. Because that last boss had maybe... Right, so I think it's distance based, the damage. Because... I've got a feeling it would hit a lot harder against someone. Let's try to see if fire affects the red one. Fire does not affect the red one. So, fire might affect the blue one. Or the green one, I don't know. Anyway, let's... What I'll do is I'll move Kudelka behind you. Kudelka can't attack. Let's try fire against the blue one. Oh, that hit hard. Oh shit, they're all going after Kudelka now. Maybe I should have had her stay at the back. I've got a feeling that'll do a lot less damage because she's been uh, thrown back. Oh, 80's alright damage. It's not great, but... It's alright. Right, Eddie, you can't attack. Can you? Oh well, just attack this one. Are we doing health rise right? Uh, so I think I, I can't want Eddie to move a bit further in because he can't actually do much unless he's like really close to him. Uh, items. Red. Who's low, lowest health? Kudelka. Oh my god, why is Kudelka's health so... Okay, maybe I need to upgrade her, uh, her vitality, because fuck me, she's... Give her some bread. Get munching. Like, it's not a lot it healed, but it healed all of her health, because she's got, like, no health. Right, they're all going after Big Eddie now. 
I'll heal Eddie next turn when I'm the priest. When I'm Big Jambo. Right, we got us, we got us, right? Wait, are they... Are they healing each other? Oh, that's okay, right, I thought they were healing each other. I was going to greet if they were doing that. I remember Jonathan saying they watched a bunch of speedruns about this game. This game has been slow, so slow to speedrun. Not that that's a bad thing. Not that a game needs to be super quick to speedrun, but you know what I mean. Uh, big Jim Bob, right? Uh, not Jim Bob. Sorry, I'm getting confused between Jim and Edward. Right, Edward, get swinging. Right, that's one of them down. That's the blue one taken care of. Uh, Jimbo, you use a potion on. I should have checked that the potion actually heals MP or HP. Yeah, it does. And might as well move in close because that's and then I can start swinging with a HP blade. I feel like I'm missing like attack names and uh, like it just feels like there's they even saying what the enemies are but I get I guess you don't want to know in a fucking you know big survival horror game what the enemies are called exactly because the more you know about an enemy the less scary it is. Right, and I just cave that one's head in. Oh, done. A hundred damage. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. wait. Wait, fire doesn't do much against the green one. Probably should have just stabbed it. That would have been a bit better. It'll right, move Big Jimmy a bit closer. Oh fuck. Oh my god. That just killed... That just instantly killed fucking Kudelka and uh... Oh right, now I'm scared. Now I'm really scared. Right, I killed that one, but that just instantly killed two of my, uh, right. Not much I can do apart from just start swing. hopefully this. Edward Shinta- oh fuck, Shintaro broke. Well, right, uh, hmm, hmm, well, I'm a bit scared now, boys. I didn't realise that weapons could break as well. Because this thing is now decided to actually be scary. Right, right, can I heal when they're... Weapon. Fuck it, normal knife, gonna have to do. Right, I... I missed Shintaro already. God damn it, Shintaro. I should have moved you closer. Right, come on. At least this is quicker. I'm getting more hits in on it. But I should probably heal after this as well. Right. Right. Cool. Fuck it. Just stab it. Right, I can take at least two more hits from it. 
but can this, I, I think it's damaged because it's kind of, it's kind of like sagging. Wait, right, actually, what I'll do is I'll take a second out and I'll heal here. I'm silenced. Oh no, I can't use uh, dried food. Maybe, maybe dried food would heal better than. Right, 350, that's okay. That's, I can take another hit. Oh, fuck me, we, we got done in there. Right, uh, Wait. As long as he doesn't hit that big attack yet before, which was scary. He's one shot killed uh, Jambo and Kudelka. Right, uh. Right, just stay on him, stay right by him, so I can just constantly hit him. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, that fight was scary. I got items, I got a rapier, a tab... A tab... The bar... Tabor and a J-Ring. Oh, that was scary. Wait, let's... Wait, you'll keep your pistol. Pistol's going well. Normal... Tabar or Mystic Rapier. We'll take the normal Tabar. We'll give... Uh, Fire James the Mystic Rapier. Which no, we'll, we'll keep... We'll give him the Vital Dirk. Air J-Ring. Which puts the... Oh, that's a big jump in intelligence, and yeah, we'll give him that. We'll get a wee, a wee thing for Kudelka eventually. Heal Kudelka. I'm going to give, uh, is it Pansea? No, Pansea's not, it's the, is it Lestel, which is the booze? Yeah, give James the wine. Oh, James can't heal. Heal in. Is Kudelka the only one that can heal? Maybe I'm building this wrong. Maybe James should be my damage dealer and not the... Right, so... The thing is, it said S Dungeon. So I assume that's me. But how do I... Right, so if I press, like, the menu button, when S pops up, I can actually save. But it doesn't heal me like the the what you call it, holy water save does. That's okay as long as I've got the save, I'm happy with that. So we've got a room we fucking like odd couple group here. We've got Kudelka, who's a I don't know she got accused of being a pagan, but we don't actually know much about Kudelka yet. We've got. Edward, who is here, got to steal stuff from the rich person that stays here. And we've got Big Fire Jambo, who is our uh, religious Tory. Who believes that people that are starving are godless heathens. What's in here? Found Listo. Oh, I'll take that. Oh shit, I thought it was a I thought it was a wee cheese. No, it's a zombie and a snake, I think. Right, so we've got low MP, we can't really do much. Oh and James is really weak, so I'll I'll give James some bread. Because Jambo gets even looked at wrong, he's uh, he's done it. I wonder if there's a way to like improve weapon durability. Because I kind of deal with tower breaking again, that was that was traumatic. Actually, you've got the vital dirk. I can just go and stab this thing and get more health. Right, what I'll do is I'll have Big Jimmy wait here. Oh, oh, it's like a 
Is that like a hand on a snake's body? As if so, that's fucking nightmarish. And also pretty genius for a horrifying enemy. Right, the axe doesn't do much damage. Maybe that's just against that thing. Boulders will hit this weird elbowed looking zombie and see if that does enough damage to Edward being poisoned. Right, what we go for? We'll, we'll go for the zombie. Oh, it's an arm. Cool. Uh, just pa someone's paralyzed. Oh, it's a zombie. The zombie's paralyzed. Cool. Right. Delka can't do anything. What we'll do is, oh, I need to reload the gun. That's why she can't do anything. Let's hit this wee thing. See if. But I can't actually ki I can't kill things with the that dark. So yeah, we'll just be waiting. Good Elka. Shoot the wee thing. And then wait. We've got all the time in the world because the zombie's no moving. So we'll just get fucking swinging at a zombie. Wait, that thing's got to fucking un like get unparalyzed and just knock the fuck at me, isn't it? Right, and while it's knocked back, hopefully Kudelka can just yes, man. Wait, it's no DJ. Fuck. Right, everyone, move, take one wee step forward. We're killing the zombie. Then Edward should just have to tap it and then that's it. There we go. Thank fuck. Whew, that thing did not die. But everyone about this game, I love the models, I love the nostalgia, I love the no nostalgia, I love the even though I've never played this, this is a game I feel very nostalgic for, even though I've never played it, if that makes sense. Anyway, Vitality. Get your HP up, because fuck me, you really need it. Get your intelligence up. Get... So I'd love for it to get to a point where... Uh, where I don't even need... Like, punching weapons. Or pu uh, punching weapons. I don't need weapons. I can just give it, like, go bare fist and then just knock the piss out of everything. Like, 10 on 10, that'd be amazing. Oh! Goodness. What's here? This building is full of dead bodies and skeletons. It's full of ghosts and spirits. Oh, I can feel them. Oh, my head hurts. I got a bad feeling about this. Horrible. Dear Lord, please save these lost souls. This must have happened a long time ago. So oh, it's just this rotten power fucking. Is so strong. So am I like a me if um, I can channel some of these spirits? Uh, maybe so she has like a, a medium? Me I don't medium. I don't know channel how to pronounce it. Spirit. Shame on you! You two should be praying for their souls. I can't, I can't say the difference between room. like a medium-sized like food and someone who so fucking meets spirits, or whatever. Oh, the reason I came here is I heard the cry of one particular female voice. She was. I will so not stand for this. Not only do you not believe in God, but now you're going to disturb the spirits. Shut up! Would you stop bothering me? Oh, oh. Chains and darkness. Oh, oh we're looking at getting oh. a, a wee raid. Who's this? Death. Crash, oh. give me a raid. How'd it go? Oh, How no. did you play in Final Fantasy VII? Oh, oh were you oh. doing the? There were so many. Cho of was it chocobo them. racing? Uh, I seen your wheel. This. I mean, how'd it go? Did you win the chocobo <sighs> racing? Anyway, we've got Big Father, oh, Big Father Joe, who is a big Tory who said the people in, uh, what you call it, London deserve to starve. 
We've got Eddie, who's I think this lovable rogue who was coming to steal shit. And we've got Kudelka, who's like a medium. Oh no, we're possessed. They cut off my fingers. They crushed my legs. They smashed my head and cut out my guts. They took everything from me. They locked me out. Yeah, we're playing Kudelka, which is a really cool tactical RPG on the PS1. Tactical survival horror RPG. It's cool. So basically we came to this weird monastery in Wales, we found these two guys who are also who are also like they came this here for place. different reasons, but there's monsters about used to be a, prison. a lot of people are dead and everyone's fucked for up. Hundreds of years kept in secret. Whoever went against the authorities also no subtitles. misconducted themselves in any way were locked up here and killed. How do you find the combat? Really cozy. I've not quite wrapped my head around it yet, but I'm really enjoying it. But see the whole late PS1 stuff? Oh, just very cozy. Very, very Mikey, you know? Right, so. Communes with some spirits there and didn't quite go to hand. Something awful happened here. It's very old fashioned dress inside. It looks like it might have been popular 30 years ago. I said proper right up your street. You see a dresser? I do see a dresser. Why did you play it before? Ah, I think I never got round. I don't know why I never got round to it, but as soon as I read, because I was reading about it and I was like, holy shit, this does sound very Mikey. Because well, Parasite Eve is one of my favourite games ever, so as soon as I seen Survival Horror RPG, I was like, oh, here we go. You see a closet. Do I want to open the closet? What's the worst that can happen? Ah! There's a mummy dressed in a wedding dress inside the closet. As you look at it, it opens its eyes and suddenly attacks. Oh fuck! Get attacked by a fucking goosebumps monster. Here we fucking go. The music's a bit of a banger as well. It's the only battle theme as well, so you better like it. Right. So, let's use... I'm still trying to wrap... Like, Still trying to wrap my head around the combat system, so I'll use. Uh, I'll have Big Fella Jambo and uh, Kudelka use my. Because I don't know what his weakness is. We're just going to experiment. And we're just going to send in Big Eddie with the axe. I like his wee shimmy. That, oh, that does no damage at all. Oh no. Oh no, right, this is bad. This is really bad. We're not doing any damage to her at all. E. Exactly. Big E. Big E's in the chat. That does a little bit more damage, but still not what we need. Because we're hitting like 400, 300 in the last bosses we're fighting. Right. Right, let me think about this. Oh, she's so creepy. Right, uh Don't know why I'm running up to her. Probably not a good idea. Actually, I've just had a thought. Magic. Just an idea. See if this is like a PS1 thing. Let's see if this works. It may not work. We might have just doomed ourselves. I always love this in games if this works. Oh fuck me, that's a lot of damage. Is it working? Is it working? Come on. Oh, it is! Oh, I love when you can use healing magic to kill undead. That's such a cool wee uh, thing that I, I like. Always love, there's a boss, I always remember in Final Fantasy, it's called Abaddon. So it's one of the only bosses you can fight and you have a temp you have a day away. 
so it's like a big deal that you can use her. She's cool as fuck. But you can use her as a Phoenix down and beat that boss. I find it so funny that you can have this build up to this big evil fucking monster boss that's going to fuck you up, you know, seven ways till Sunday, and you can just do that to it. Soul Cage. Soul Cage, what in Soul Cage? Right, okay, maybe my healing magic isn't as good as the rest of them. Maybe Edward's letting the team down a wee bit with him. But for, oh, so it is, yeah. And then you've got, uh, so in the life tree. Right, so I, I just realised that because I didn't use healing magic against that thing. That's slightly, but oh fuck. Uh, Kudelka's down. Oh no, boys. Right, I'm just going to go scorch the earth, earth in this thing. And you can do that against the fake president, can't you? And 8 as well. well 290, 290. So I'm trying to work out how much health it should have left. Oh my god, that's half of my health gone. Fucking hell. Right, I should probably definitely heal one of my boys. Actually, no, Edward's okay. Edward's the only one that can really take like a big hit. Why the attack? Doesn't do anything against her. I think but if I, if I move, then it's gotta go straight for James. So I'm better keeping Edward here and getting the piss knocked out of him if he can defend against, uh, or at least he can soak up the hits for Jambo. Probably move, shouldn't I? Right, here we go. This hopefully should. Hopefully she'll do a little bit of damage to it. Oh, that's her taken care of. She was fucking solid, boys. So I am playing with a couple of upscalers, which, if you've noticed, there is a wee bit of lag when loading the models in. That might be where it comes from. Anyway, yes, man, here we go. I got a ring, and I learned to spell Megalith? You see it? Open the closet. Level up those pies. I found a rope ladder. Oh! I was kind of worried that I opened it again and there'd be another mummy in there. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't heal. What the fuck is that? It's like a... Oh, it's like a dummy who's like top half melted off. Oh, it's so fucking creepy. I love that the enemies in this are like not your usual enemies. Because like a rat appears, you know how to beat a rat. You know how to, you know, you know how a rat works. You know how a fucking dog works. You know how a fucking orc works. But how the fuck, like how the fuck do you make sense of uh whatever that thing is? You know, maybe hit guys are on it. Oh, I meant to go a bit further than that. Whoops. I'm no biologist, but I don't know how a dog works. Well, you know what I mean. Like, if I, I I'm, I'm, no, I was gonna say, if you, like, if you stab something, it will die. How, how the fuck do, how the fuck do you kill something like that? You know, if you, if you stab an orc, he'll die. This is like a weird mannequin. Oh dear. Oh no. Fuck to get Uh, Huey. Um, I was playing Bloodborne earlier, so there's quite a few in that. And, uh, I've started playing Bloodborne again because, uh, 
because Kieran has been going about Bloodborne constantly, so I've suddenly got the I've suddenly had the urge to play it again. Because Bloodborne's class, I so he uh, so he played Bloodborne and he uh, was saying how shite it was, and because he chose the cane and he was really struggling, he went back and started a new playthrough, got the axe I think instead, and he was telling me it's like neck and neck with his favourite, it's that and like Dark Souls one. Or maybe it's his fa- I can't remember if he said it's his favourite, but he prefers it over Elden Ring. He prefers it over all the Dark Souls games. But aye. Bloodborne's fucking amazing. But I don't know how, because he's beat Orphan Across. I don't know how, because I've never beaten Orphan Across. Ever. I have tried over multiple sa uh, saves. Doing multiple different strategies. Summoning people. I just can't beat him, he's too aggressive, he's too fast. Oh no. Kudelka's did again. Yeah, he's just so aggressive, fast, and yeah. What is Megalith? Let's find out what Megalith is. Oh, it's a really powerful earth attack. I see. Man, this enemy is fucking me up. Oh. Oh no. Right, so that's like a ranged attack, so that only affects what cool. I like how everyone shares like uh, spells as well, so it's not like I need to teach everyone different spells. That's I like that, that's kinda cool. Why has this thing got so much health? Holy shit. Oh it's okay, it's it did now. Got it. Big Father Jambo actually saving us there. We'd be fucked if that was the case. Right, uh I will get to a point where Edward doesn't big Edward Plunkett doesn't even need a weapon. He can just fist the North Star everything into uh into fucking dust, right? Uh water ring and the air ring. Right, see cause you're getting done in Kudelka, you're getting both those rings. Uh, Ilkudelka. Right, so we're in a not bad position right now. Like, could obviously be better. Right, so we're, how, what level are we at? Level 4, level 5. You think the decline of caveman themed video games since the 1990s, Joe and Mac, Super Bonk, Tomba is systematic and of a wider decline site? Absolutely. The world needs more Bonk or Bonk's Adventure. I remember playing that as a kid uh, on... Oh thank you so much for the follow of the Fortnite kid, how you doing pal? But I remember playing Bonk's Adventure a shit ton as a kid on my old Amiga. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Nothing happened, you have to try a different combination. Right boys, what are we guessing? Uh, we'll guess... 18... Wait. We'll try 69, 69. We'll try that. 69. Okay mate, these zoomers uh, got no clue about the bonk mate. Oh well, it's no 69, 69. Oh well. Human bones scattered everywhere. Wait, there was a ladder there? Is that a ladder? Or is it a... We've got a rope ladder. Fuck knows where we use it. Tomba remastered also. Oh, Tomba. Never actually played Tomba. Always wanted to. Like, always seen it on the, the PS1 demo discs and shit. Could I just use healing magic on this zombie? Oh! Oh, he's got little spindly legs. 
Oh, he's so upset. Right. So Kudelka's not actually got any MP, but I'm gonna have her sitting at the back here. So she'll still like Cause she needs to level up something awful. But she might get done in, so I'm just gonna have her sitting in the back and have my other boys be the damage dealers. Right, uh Magic Megalith on On that wee horn. On that wee creepy horn. Get smashed. We got this, we got this right. Axe square to the head. Oh wait, why did I use it or not? Should I attack the... Does that might kill that wee horn? Or me, no, it won't kill it, but... Megalith might be wasted on it. Oh, it's a skeleton, that's why it's so spindly. I see. Ultra I fight an Ultra Instinct Caveman or Ultra Ego Zimmer. You don't, uh... Right, so, what is a... What's Ultra Instinct? I assume it's Dragon Ball Z. Is that the one with the blue hair? I don't know. I, I don't watch Dragon Ball. Or Ultra Ego Zimmer. Wait, what? Also, I'm showing my age. What's... Like, what is a Zoomer? Like, what year is that? And what am I? Am I a millennial? Oh, I hate his wee feet. Boggin. I'm a granddad. I am. I'm grandfather time. I'm fucking ancient. A zoomer's pretty much L1 younger than you though. You're close to lining that one. Ah. Right, and was weight is that thing? Well, that thing's paralyzed, so we can just kinda take our time with it. Let's try and get Kudelka some XP. It's good lord she needs it. Everyone just bully this horrible wee skeleton. Oh wait, can I not attack it? Do I need to oh, I need to reload? I keep forgetting that's a That's I think right so action we'll use magic megalith on it. Live I Live had a Caveman 6, really good game, but the Caveman bit was one of the worst bits. On top of, on top of Caveman games. I've actually got Live Alive, Live Alive, Live a Live, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've actually got that sitting behind me on my, uh, in my Switch games to play. Yeah, I got that straight out of the way. Because I need to, I need to beat, uh, right, I'm currently playing through Final Fantasy 16 and I need to beat, uh, fuck. Tears of the Kingdom first. But yeah, uh, Live Alive is on the list, the off like the off stream list to do. Because I was doing a thing where I was playing like half a game, and then fucking off, and then playing another half a game, and then fucking off. So I'm like telling myself right now, I need to finish this, you know. Like, I don't think I've finished a game off stream in a good few months. You know, for the game and stuff was done by Japanese. Oh. Oh dear. Wait, did I come in this room? Bed's covered with dust. The art was done before. Ah. So it's not that they hired him. Ah, okay. So, theoretically, Crash, when you say the art, do you mean like. The remake art, or the art that was like already in the game in its original version. But I've, I've just assumed that no, each different stories had their own art, and I think right. No, I meant like because I know it's a remake. 
like, if you know what I mean, or a re... Oh, what have we got here? Ah, PS1 FMV. Hey. I don't think she's real, pal. Hey. Wait a minute. All right, it's the main hey. after the caveman stuff, not remaster stuff. Ah, I see. Edward. Oh. Oh yeah, she a ghost. You should have just died before. I wanted you to lay down and die. <laughs> a ghost? Yeah. A g g g ghost. That was the first time I've seen that logo in the loading bit, right? So, hmm, right. Uh, where to now? So, do I use the rope ladder? Oh, oh, it's a pure enemy. Wait, a rope ladder? It's a fucking oh, never mind. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I don't know why I was expecting it to be outwards until like the bit where we couldn't cross, but now it's a rope ladder. Of course not a rope bridge, what the fuck, Mikey? Anyway, I'm just going to nuke a skeleton with earth magic. I hate his wee spindly legs, I hate them. I hate them so much. Right, Kudelka, let's uh, get glugging with... You ever crossed the Erskine rope? I have not. Oh, for... God damn it. Okay, deserve that one. It took me a second to click there, I was like... Right, here we go, here we go. Oh, why am I moving you close if I'm gonna... Like, i just seen the word Erskine and my brain just like... You know when emails it gives you that autofill option? It just did that. Okay, Megalith. Oh, I hate that. Uh, I love and hate the design of the hand with a snake body. Like, I hate it, but I'm like, that's effective sort of horror, body horror weird shit. I right, go for the horn. Oh, it's horrible. I hate it. Also, see, instead of actually use like, because I've got the items like the mystic pipe that will do the healing shit, I might, I might just use them instead of using healing magic or uh, MP fueling magic. I guess I don't know what to call it. Anyway, Ed, oh fuck, Eddie and James are poisoned. So uh, yeah, what we'll do? We'll just try and get us out of the way quickly. I wonder if it's damage per turn, like for everyone's turn or just their turn. We'll find out, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, so that we, uh, we just got skeleton taken care of. Right, I was what? So I was looking up a wee bit about Shadow Hearts because I wanted to dig into that as well. But one of those games that's like, very expensive, kind of like Kadelka. But it's weird how different styli stylistically it is from Shadow Hearts. Like it looks like a just completely different game. Well, mainly because I think it is. But it's like, like you know, how, like for example, you know, how Drake Guard and Nier look kind of similar. Like for example, if you're taking a, a model from Nier and a model from Drake Guard, but next to each other, you go, ah, that theoretically looks like from the same franchise, you know. This doesn't. <laughs> This looks radically different, like, there's one, I think it's Shadow Hearts 3, I want to say, which is, like, the New World, I think it's called, something like that, and one of the characters looks like he's just from Kingdom Hearts, put it next to, like, Kudelka in this, or the Big Priest, you know? But I'm really, I'm looking forward to digging into more of the Shadow Hearts series.
Three was always one of the games I always stare at when I was in G-Force, but I would never get because... Wait. Wait, is this not where... Two's oh, it's always interesting but I've never played I. I remember hearing a lot about it when... Because I played... Like, I used to get all my stuff from Game Master Magazine, so I, I was reading up about Lost Odyssey because I was really excited to get Lost Odyssey. And that had a ring system, which I think is similar to... No, it wasn't a ring system. I can't, I can't remember what it was called, but yeah, but like to get a hit, you had to like stop in a certain box, and people, I remember people going, "No, it's kind of similar to Shadow Hearts in that way." And probably something else. I don't know. I think another RPG had that mechanic. Oh God! Oh yeah, I'm late for work. Oh dear! Right? Oh dear me! Right, what I'll do is I'll do this fight, and then we'll, we'll do a wee save, we'll call it a day. But I am fucking loving Kudelka so far, it's a game I'm really interested in. It. I should not. I think Eddie doesn't use magic. Oh no, it's not that job, I've, I've, I've got two jobs. Well, technically I'm a, you know, wrestling coach and a streamer as well, so four jobs. Well, hey, there we go. And run the video store, of course. Okay, Fabe, keeping the storyline going. Four job Fiesta Mikey. Four job Mikey Esther. Yes, man. But anyway, this, this Zombo's getting... Really? No, you might as well not go and just stream for it. That's, that's what I'll do. Won't bother with work. Right, we'll just stab this zombie. How you doing, Mick? Oh my god. I didn't expect that scream. I know I need to go to work, Megan. I know. God, what a killjoy. Raid offline, Jane. I'll do that. I wasn't the game, that was Megan screaming at Mikey. Good times yourself. I am alright, I'm literally about to shoot off to work. I, oh, and Father James, uh, pass, uh, I, I don't know what I was going to say there. Leveled up, I was going to say passed up. I'm very tired. Please say within five minutes, I'll say bye to now. Cheers for shooting up. Th thank you so much, Crash. Anyway, bougies, uh, passed up in the back. What I'll do is I'll go find a save state. Ah, uh, save. I'll do a save state. And I won't properly say I'll find a save off stream. Unless. Unless I can save in this room. Something's not right. Hey, we're just. We're, we're, we're turning back. We're turning back. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, Jesus. Right, what we'll do is we'll do a wee save here. Not a real save, I know. Sue me. But I'll, I'll fix that when I get back. I'll go find the actual save point. And we'll dig into that next time because I'm fucking loving Kadelka. Uh, we'll head over to this screen in the meantime. There we go. Just for, oh, thank you so much. I'm, cheers, Arthur. I'm actually really enjoying Kadelka. So we'll be back with Kadelka on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow we'll be finishing off Tenchu and seeing what we've got coming up next. But in the meantime, boysies. Uh, how do I mute this? Actually, no, I, I like the beat ambiance, fire, sound. Anyway, get some music from the ring on the background. Bye, boys. We're going to raid Jason. Uh, as you boys, thank you for uh, coming along. Cheers for the raid crash. I would say a big goodbye, but I've got enough time. Bye, catchies. See yous. Fucking Kudelka's good. Catchies. We're going to raid Jason. Catchies. <laughs>